It's Lizzie here from Bankery Library and Bookbug. Welcome to our very special Bookbug session for World Book Day. Bookbug and his friends would like you to join them for some songs and rhymes today and play a guessing game. See if you can spot the clues to a well-known story as we go along. Should we get started with our welcome song? Let's give everybody a big wave, Bookbug. <laughs> Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. Hello Bookbug, you look like you're going to be doing some baking. Hello boys and girls. That's making me think about food. Shall we do a wee rhyme? You can join in too. We're going to start off with this one. You've got to count, right? Can you do this? One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. We'll start again. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. I like mashed potato. Can I have some more, please? Now we're going to make a little pancake. So you can sit like this, or if you're smaller, you can be like this. We're going to pop a little pancake into a pan. Pop a little pancake into a pan. Pop a little pancake into a pan. That's for my dinner today. Now we're going to shake a little sugar. Shake a little sugar with a shake, shake, shake. Shake a little sugar with a shake, shake, shake. Shake a little sugar with a shake, shake, shake. That's for my dinner today. Now we're going to squeeze a little lemon. Squeeze a little lemon with a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze a little lemon with a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze a little lemon with a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's for my dinner today. Now this is a really fun bit. We're going to toss a little pancake up in the air. Toss a little pancake up in the air. Toss a little pancake up in the air. That's for my dinner today. Now it's time to eat it all up. We're going to eat it all up with a yum, yum, yum. Eat it all up with a yum, yum, yum. Eat it all up with a yum, yum, yum. That's for my dinner today. Did you spot a clue to a story? Don't worry if you didn't. There's still two clues left. See if you can spot them. Hello, Bookbug. Are you sitting ready to watch the pictures? What's this? What have you been up to? Hello, everyone. What do you think this is? You've been making something nice. Mm. Just put that away for later. Okay. Do you know some songs that we could sing or some rhymes that we could sing? Ah, to do with baking. Mm. How about five currant buns? Do you know that at home? Do you know that rhyme and all the actions? Yes? Want to sing that? Okay, right. So, here we go. Five currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Bookbug, or whatever your name is, <laughs> with a penny one day. Bought some currant bun and took it away. How many left now? Okay, four. Four currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Bookbug with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. Three left, okay. Three currant buns in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Bookbug with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. Two left, okay. Two left. Two currant buns in a baker's shop, 
Round and fat with a cherry on top, along came Bugbug with a penny one day. Bought a current barn and took it away. <gasps> yeah, here's the last one. One current barn in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Bugbug with a penny one day. Bought a current barn and took it away. Hey! Ah, oh, that's good. But there's no current buns left in the baker's shop now. Where have they all gone? You left them in the kitchen. Mm. Should we have one? Would you like a current bun? Ah, oh, you want a cup of tea with it? Should we make a pot of tea? <gasps> Should we sing a song about a pot of tea? Or about a teapot? Does everyone know the song? I'm a little teapot. <gasps> it goes, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When you hear me whistle, hear me shout. And then you stand on one day, you go, tip me up and pull me out. Can you do that? Okay, here we go. Then. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When you hear me whistle, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Oh, one more time. Okay. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When you hear me whistle, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Make sure you don't fall over. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go and get our cup of tea and our current buns and sit down ready for the pictures. And so we're gonna say goodbye to you for now. So. Bye-bye. Did you spot the clue to a story? There's still one clue left. See if you can find it. Hello, Bug Bug. Hello, Fox. I just found someone behind the wall. Did you see him, Fox? It was Humpty. Here he is. Oh, shall we send Humpty Dumpty, boys and girls? Right, Fox can go and sit down here. And... But Bug and I will sing Humpty Dumpty. This is a great one for sitting on knees and falling off. All right, we'll put Humpty here. Can you see him? Are you ready? Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll put him in Book Bug's pocket. That's a great idea, isn't it? Right, there you go. Ready, Humpty and Book Bug? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, it's nice to fall off an ear as long as we hold you tight. Are you ready again? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it, Book Bug? Let's put Humpty down there. And now we've got a nice rhyme with some of these in. Do you know what this is, Book Bug? A lovely red shiny apple. This is a lovely rhyme to do with your little one facing you. Right, Book Bug can go here. I need my hands and it's called Ten Red Apples. Ten red apples hanging on the tree. Five for you, five for me. And if we shake the tree just like so, Ten red apples will fall down below. It's a good chance for a tickle as well. Again. Ten red apples hanging on the tree. Five for you, five for me. And if we shake the tree just like so, there'll be ten red apples fall down below. Oh, that was a good book bug. Right. Let's finish off with a nice cuddly one, shall we? We all love a boozy. Let's sing Ali Bally. Are you ready? Ali Bally, Ali Bally be sitting on your mommy's knee, greeting for a wee bobby to buy some cooter's candy. Lovely. Bye bye. Did you spot all the clues? What story do you think it is? 
What do you think, Bookbug? Oh, the gingerbread man. Yes, of course. Well done if you guessed it right at home. Why not try and tell the story together? Or if you'd like to read it from a book, have a look at the library catalogue. There's loads available, even in ebooks. For now, it's time for us to say goodbye. So we're going to sing our goodbye song. Should we give everybody a wave book bug? Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. Oh, well done, everybody. Bye.